Hello, I'm Chris Kilby, a pastor in a pergola, and here's today's bite-sized Bible from 1 Timothy 1, verse 13. And this is what the Apostle Paul said in that verse. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and in unbelief. And the word for you today is this. There is hope for everyone. There is hope for everyone. You know, when we tend to read the writings of the Apostle Paul, we tend to think of him as something of a spiritual hero. And uh, uh, it's good to remember what he was before God got hold of him. Three things he says. He was a blasphemer. He was a persecutor and he was a violent man. That's quite a trilogy, isn't it? A blasphemer, that means his speech was ungodly. He was a persecutor, so his loyalties were mixed. And he was a violent man. That was about his actions, what he did with his loyalties. And he was pretty violent. He was pretty aggressive towards the Christians. All these things are quite extreme. Yet God chose him encountered him, rescued him, and used him. So there is hope for everyone. God turned his life completely around. You know, I love the way uh, David puts it in Psalm 18, where he says in verse 16, he reached down from on high and took hold of me. Has that been your experience? You see, if he has qualified you, then nothing can disqualify you and there is hope for each one of us to t today. You see, some of you are disqualifying, disqualifying yourselves where God isn't because of your speech or your actions or your loyalties. You know, none of these things can disqualify you from serving and loving Jesus. You see, the important thing is this. It was never those things that qualified you in the first place so there is no way that these things can disqualify you. Your actions, your speech, your words, they never qualified you in the first place. God chose you and therefore you are qualified. You see, it was the cross ultimately that qualified Paul. He realised that in that encounter with Jesus. And you need to understand the same thing today. It was the cross and only the cross that qualified you. And because of the cross, there is hope for us all. There's hope for you, there's hope for me. All of us today, yeah, even you, even me. That's today's Bite Size Bible from 1 Timothy 1, verse 13. I'm Chris Kilby, a pastor in a pergola. See you next time.